Welcome class. Today's next lesson is on breaking seed dormancy. We're going to be look at scarification as well as stratification techniques. These, both of these techniques tries to uh, mimic uh, our, our natural setting here in California, primarily do, during the uh, fall and winter months so that we can actually um, kind of speed up the process and get seeds into the ground as quick as we can. Again, Sue Fitz is our instructor today in today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Okay, what we're going to do first is um, physical dormancy, which is the seed coat just will not allow water in so, so that it um, can't germinate. This is redbud, which is a California native. It's a really nice little tree that has gorgeous uh, magenta flowers in the spring. If you're over at uh, Walmart in the spring, uh, Walmart's got them in their uh, parking lot. At any rate, as you see, these are the pods that the, the seeds form in, and you just pop the seeds out. And as you can see, these guys are really hard seed. I mean. You can try scratching each, the best way to get uh, through the seed coat is just to scratch it, but as you can see, just holding tempting down long enough, hopefully to scratch the seed coat, that's gonna be an issue. It's, they're gonna be popping all over the place. So what people do is instead of trying to scratch it with something hard like I was doing is, they will put it on a piece of sandpaper, put another piece of sandpaper over, and you just kind of rub it around a bit. You don't want to be too rough, but what you're doing is putting microscopic scratches on the seed coat. So we'll assume those are nicely scratched. And then what you do is you take, just pop those in a container of water. You can tell if you've succe succeeded because the next day the seeds will have swelled up. So here's, I did these last night. As you can see, not every seed I scratched well enough to open up. Some of these seeds are a lot bigger. They're the ones that I successfully scratched to open so that the water could come in. These guys are still about the same size, which means I didn't scrape hard enough to get them to swell. So uh, these plants are ready to start germinating, or at least they've got the the seed coat's been breached. The little embryo, the little uh, baby plant inside has got enough water now in it to start to be biologically active and start to grow. But redbud is very is a very cautious plant. It, it, it wants more of a delay just to make sure that, yeah, spring is, is starting to happen and it's time to germinate. So what it does is it won't germinate unless there's um, a cold period. So it insists on swelling up like this and then sitting in a cold temperature, usually in the high 30s for about two months before it'll germinate. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, the soil's already moist, I'm going to pop this little thing into a plastic bag and then I'm going to sneak it into Mr. Dyer's floral refrigerator and let it sit there for two months so that the plants get a good thorough chilling. I'm guessing that Mr. Dyer's refrigerator is probably in the high 30s which is enough for these to get enough chilling and then um, in two months I'll come take it out and put it in the greenhouse and the seeds should germinate. So as you can see, it takes quite a bit to get seeds to germinate. We're kind of spoiled um, when we buy a packet of garden seed. We expect as soon as we plant it, the seeds are going to pop up. But those seeds have been selected over years and years and years and by uh, breeders to have eliminated uh, this, this tough ability to, uh, to get it to germinate. Unfortunately, native plants, since they're basically untouched, you have to go through all kinds of hoops to get them to uh, come up when you want to raise them. Um, so basically, the scraping with the sandpaper has got a fancy name. It's called scarification. You're scarring the seed coat. 
and then the cold chilling that the seed require, uh, insists on has got a fancy name called stratification. I'm not exactly sure what the root name comes from in terms of stratification, but basically it just means you're going to make the plant sit in the quiet, cold, moist for however months each plant likes to do it. And like I said, red bed's about two months. Just to review what Sue has already said, the scarification part of the technique is usually sandpaper and those kinds of seeds that may need a little help, send them lightly to kind of scar or scratch them up so water can get in to be able to um, expand the seed coat so that it can break through it. The second technique is what they call stratification. Stratification is really just cold chilling them, uh, usually for uh, two months or so so that it kind of undergoes some uh, environmental conditions that you can see in California's uh, winter uh, months. So if you've liked it, click on the like button. And if you'd like to see more of them, go ahead and hit subscribe. I hope this has helped you. We'll be seeing you in the lab. Thank you very much. Bye.